हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ धीरेंद्र कुमार राय आई एम ए स्टूडेंट ऑफ बीटेक फोर्थ ईयर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इन फैकल्टी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लखनऊ हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू गिव माय प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन टॉपिक रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ इंजीनियर गौरव श्रीवास्तव सर these are the content which i will explain in next slides first rain and rain water world's total water 97% is in oceans 2% is in is locked in polar caps and rest 1% is fresh water of this fresh water india share is 4% whereas our population share is 18% of world populations over 85% of the cultivated area is either directly dependent on rain or depends on rain to recharge its ground water now potential of rains in india rainfall is irregular and non uniform across the length and breadth of the country somewhere it is more and somewhere it is less as 80 to 90% of the total rainfall is received during summer monsoon while rest of period goes dry india has a very good potential of rains for example maharashtra offer often suffer from drought in dry season 400 million liter of rain water per square meter in every year maharashtra receives whereas demand of water will be about 180 to 185 million liter this is less than even the half of the annual rainfall from above calculation we can see that availability of water is not a problem problem is the lack of enterprise to collect store and utilize water hence if properly implemented and utilized in form of rain water harvesting in india then it is easy solution from the drought problems now we will see what is rain water harvesting rain water harvesting is simple process or technology to conserve rain water by collecting storing conveying and purifying them that run off from rooftop parks roads open ground etc for later use next slide models of rain water harvesting there are two main models of rain water harvesting first is rural model and second one is urban model rural model of rain water harvesting in rural areas tradition method of rain water harvesting is used like water is stored in talabs bawdis kuas and kund main purpose of rain water harvesting in these areas is to facilitate irrigation for agriculture and domestic purpose like drinking cooking bathing etc nowadays these structure are also made under the manrega scheme in villages next slide these are the figure in which it is clearly shown that this this is the catchment area and when rain is falling it goes to the khadin next urban model of rain water harvesting it consists of 
many components like roof catchment, gutters, down pipe, first flush pipe, filter unit, storage tank. We will see one by one in this picture. We can see that this is the catchment and we will see one by one roof catchment the roof of the house is used at the catchment for collecting the rain water it is made of corrugated iron sheet asbestos sheet tiles or concrete next gutters gutters are the channel fixed to the edge of roof all around to collect and transport the rain water from the roof the shape of gutter is either semicircular or rectangular it can be made of cement pipe galvanized iron sheet polyvinyl chloride pipes or the bamboos use of locally available material reduces the overall cost of project next is down pipe it is the pipe which carry the rain water from the gutter to the filter and storage tank it is joined with the gutter at one end and the other end is connected to the filter unit of storage tank in this diagram we can see that rain water is coming and uh, this is the fil uh, filter wa water is coming out and remaining dirt is goes down next slide first flush pipe it is used to avoid the entering unwanted material which is coming with the rain water into the filter media and storage tank main purpose is this for example dust and dirt debris these are collect collected on the roof during non rainy period when first rain arrive it come with rain water to overcome this problem we use first flush pipe next filter unit and what is filter unit the filter unit is placed over the storage tank or separately it is a container or chamber filled with the filter media such as a coarse sand coconut fiber pebbles gravels to remove the debris and dirt from the water that enter in the storage tank here in this picture we can see that at the topmost level coarse sand sand is placed and up, uh, below this aggregate is placed and below this pebbles are placed and when water is coming uh, top to bottom then the debris dirt particles are absorbed by these layers and fresh water is out next slide storage tank to store water that is collected from the roof through filter for a small scale water storage plastic buckets clay or cement jars drums may be used for larger quantity of water the system will require a bigger tank with a different shape constructed with plain cement concrete or the reinforced cement concrete or brick or a stone the storage tank is provided with a cover on the top to avoid the contamination of water from the external sources next what are the advantages of this to install rainwater harvesting system in uh, buildings or other locations the first one is it prevents water wastage by arresting runoff as well as prevents soil erosion and mitigates flood in urban areas it can be used in times of emergency and breakdown of public water supply
system and next it helps to reduce the storm drainage load and flooding in the cities and many more advantages are here next what are the disadvantages in terms of complex constructions there is a requirement for high cost and trade professional second is maintenance cost may add to monetary burden and if it is not maintained properly then it can cause various problem in term of algal or bacterial growth which affect the human body which causes the different type of water borne diseases the system is very much rainfall dependent and hence if there is a problem in that area it may not be very effective next slide so at a community level at individual and uh, at the non government organization and also on the government level it is required to promote rain water harvesting there is a requirement in financial support and the citizen awareness campaign there is just some places where there is no provision of the installing the rain water harvesting system in homes so it is required to strict implementation on this because water is very precious for our lives next slide case study of ground water recharge through the abandoned bore wells by roof top rain water harvesting it is the case study of a uh, neelam nagar area solapur district in maharashtra and this we can see that there is a cost of 10 lakh rupees to of the pro, of this project in this outcome what outcome is about 5000 square feet rooftop area has been connected to the abandoned bore wells for ground water recharge 4.5 lakh of rain water used to recharge ground water in last 3 years after fulfilling secondary need of the resident during monsoon it also help on the orphanage school and also more than 50 100 population in neelam nagar area including economically weaker section housing colony located up the stream side of the catchment with this learning solapur municipal corporation has proposed to recharge 200 more bore wells in the city through amrut and work is in progress today in this photographs we can see that when a situation during the water scarcity when the, there is a problem with this and the geophysical survey before installment of the this project and also awareness and people interaction with the authorities in this next this is the in this picture first part uh, we can see that women are cleaning the catchment areas at the community level recharge the structure at the orphanage and ground water recharge site at neelam nagar we also see the filtration re and recharge pit these are the photographs these are the photographs of this project of case study finally conclusion rain water harvesting is undoubtedly a promising technology which is the need of present time there are many residential and commercial building where there is no provision of rain water harvesting till date but it is required monsoon can be resource of 
for India only when we take rainwater harvesting seriously. So, lastly, I want to say one more thing that is, it is very important for us to reserve water because it is very precious resources for the present time and also in future time save water save life thank you very much